This video is sponsored by Cuts Clothing. More on that later. All right. Hi, happy Monday, and welcome back to this edition. Welcome. Hi, happy Monday, and welcome back to a new edition of the world famous game, You Cringe, You Smoke. And today I am here with a very special guest, a uh, person, Dev Lemon. Yeah, make some noise, America. Good morning, America. We're going to get f Don't say that you're gonna have to blur that out oh uh, yeah blur yeah blur that out if you guys don't know the rules it's very simple it's in the title i can't believe you're even asking but what we're gonna do is we're gonna be watching a very awesome video and you and i are gonna decide if the moment in the video is cringe then we will be taking one dose of whatever your vice is our vice is a yeah shh Shut don't up. tell anyone that I rolled it. Like, I'm listen, guys. Like, I'm not trying to. Actually, I'm not going to talk about it. We're not talking about it. Next. <laughs> but listen, we might be smoking, but you don't have to. Maybe every single time that we cringe, you could eat a big hot dog. That's not. That's that's a little bit irrational. Okay. I don't have any every single time. Oh, I'm so. Oh, I'm not. Like, and just because, like, I come on here to do the game, like. Hey everyone, uh, I just moved as you can tell and we didn't really get the full video done with the amount of time and energy I had during this big transition period in my life. So there is a second part to this video. You're only going to be seeing the first part today, but I promise you it's still worth watching. It doesn't make any sense, but it's a fun time. It was shot like 12 hours before I had to fly to California and so it's a little bit chaotic, but here I am now. Here's your first look at Nick in LA. I'm sure you can tell that I've totally got my life together and things are gonna get better for sure. There's a lot of life changes are happening right now and if you couldn't tell, I don't really know what my channel is or like what the, the idea or whatever it is, I don't know. I think it'll take a second to get back on my feet and feel really passionate about putting stuff out on this channel and kind of figure out what the concept of the whole thing is because the past year has just been a lot of like question marks as to what I really want to do or what I really want to make. But if there's anything I love most in this job, it's laughing with my best friends and getting very... I also forgot to mention that Dev has a song actually coming out tonight, the day that this video is posted. So I'm going to put all of the links for that in the description down below. There's a YouTube premiere on her channel for it tonight. So I hope to see you there or else I'm going to freak out. So please enjoy this video. Sorry about the audio issues. We had a lot of them, but it's going to be good. Okay? Who cares? Bye. It's Dev's first time in this beautiful state of Illinois and I am moving tomorrow. And so we got some Portillo's cake shakes to go along with it. So every time we cringe, we're also gonna take a nice hearty sip of this bad boy. Yeah, and it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Ow, it's hot! Oh, it's so hot! Put the cake in there! Like, Ow. how much burn? All right, before we start, Dev has an important announcement to make. Yeah, um, so, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have several important announcements to Nate, to, <laughs> I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have several important announcements to make actually, but if I'm being completely transparent with you, like what I'm looking at right now is Nick has a really regimented script in front of us and like I'm only allowed to. The main announcement I'm gonna make to you is that, um, yeah, we made an album under this little name called Queef Jerky. It's our debut actually, and it's actually really good. So if you can check it out, please, that would be great. And guess what? If you don't like that, if that's not your cup of tea, well, we have like three more albums in the works right yeah. now. We just came out with this album, but we don't stop. That, guys like us, we don't stop. No. I'm not done Sorry, yet. Even. Like, I, thought... like, I never stop. Like we are not stopping. We have like 10 albums in the works right now, right Nick? 10, probably 11, um, not 12. No. We would not make that many albums, that's too many. All right, before we start the video, you wanna do a celebratory? Yeah, we can do a celebratory. Ryan. I'm not gonna say anything to Ryan. So Dub, the video we're gonna be watching today is a classic series by Cut called The Button. <laughs> Do you know anything about that? Oh, I know too much about the button, actually. Like, I know a little too much about that button. To be honest with you guys, <laughs> we tried to shoot this episode yesterday, and we may have accidentally, for the first time, greened out a little bit. <laughs> we'll put in a clip right here of yesterday, the, just... <laughs> the moment where I knew that we had to stop filming the video. And because they say in the show, they're like, oh, I heard that you're kicking people out. What are you doing? What, what are you looking at me? <laughs> I don't think, do you think we should not do this? 
<laughs> All right, so because of that, we're gonna skip past the board. We already watched like a minute yesterday of it. It was boring. So we're gonna get down to the good stuff. So we're just gonna start at the second person in the video. They don't put the interesting people in there. They give you the stinger, they give you a nice boring first one, and then they get you into the meat of it. Don't let these YouTubers force you into watching the first part of a, of a cut video, okay? You gotta get into the meat. Also, we're gonna have a counter up here for every time there's a cringe. Okay, let's start it. Hello, I'm Abby. I'm Cody. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. What do you do for like your hobbies? I'm really into K-pop. K-pop? <laughs> so K-pop concerts. Nice, nice, yeah. like BTS. Not a good question to ask someone who's into K-pop. BTS, really? BTS, really, that's all you know. Why you ask me if my favorite rock band's Nickelback? <laughs> Nickelback, uh... <laughs> What a dime. A dime back? Do you think Nickelback has anything to do with the word quarterback, like football? I never thought about that. <laughs> quarterback, Nickelback, that's one fifth of a quarterback. Hold on. A Nickelback is a quarter, cornerback. A Nickelback is an actual thing. safety who serves as the additional defensive back in a nickel defense? What? People need to grow up. Like, just play the game. Damn, dude. Like, just throw it. Why are you trying to do math? Oh, four, two, five, three, three, five. What about six, six, six? Yeah. What Enough. about six, six, six? Maybe try to go up to a seven, seven, seven. That actually is a thing. It's like a Vegas thing, right? Oh, okay. Slots machine. Yeah, it's like seven. That's some people's lucky number. Not Taylor Swift. <laughs> None of this video makes any sense. <laughs> it originated from the nickel in change that band member Mike Kroger gave customers at his job at Starbucks. He would frequently say, here's your nickel back. That's not true. What? Can't be. That's so stupid. Why would he give them a nickel Why would back? that be your band name? Because you... Why does everyone get a nickel back? This is so weird. Mike Kroger, while giving change to a customer at Starbucks, would say, here's your nickel back. That can't be right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the video. I, we hope you're enjoying it. Um, so basically, um, I had this realization. Like, <laughs> I had it first. I realized this as we were talking about it, because I was like, I'm still confused on how he, he would give a nickel back to so many people. But I realized, me... That it was probably because way back in the day when Mike Kroger used to work at Starbucks, they'd have drinks that were $5. No, God. They'd have drinks that are $4.95. And so you'd probably have to give them a nickel back often, which makes more sense because we're not living in the new digital age. Yeah, I hate that. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> anyway. Let's just continue the video. Oh, yeah. Bye, Shane. Abby hates feet. Come on. Why do you hate feet? Um, I just think they're really gross. <laughs> Can you show her your feet? Why do they do that? <laughs> Why is it like whispering? I hate, I told you. <laughs> Can you show her your feet, please? <laughs> a troll under the bridge. <laughs> It's like why? That's cringe. That's yeah. Pen That's up, cringe. I think this might drive Ryan to quit video editing forever. <laughs> the button sucks, and I was telling you this in the last episode before we had to stop. But the button sucks. Yeah, dude, this button idiot. sucks. Sucking. They suck. This button sucks. People can't just watch you say censored words the whole time. We can't do it like that. I mean, it's just gonna be, you're gonna ruin everything, actually, for me personally, and for everyone watching, I wouldn't blame them if they clicked out by now. <laughs> can we just stand Whatever. up? Would that be crazy to say? Do you wanna just stand? Like, can we just- I don't really care. Cause I just, the squeaky chairs, I yeah. can't do bits, I can't move like I used to. Yeah. <laughs> Like I used to, I can't move. Like I can't this move. Like tall. I used to. Well, you gotta stand up. It's still... yeah, this is still wasted. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he has chairs. Put it. No, actually, put this whole thing in there because it, you don't want to break continuity. There's this thing. There's this thing in film called continuity, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And then keep this part too because the camera angle is changing. Keep it in, Ryan. Keep this part in. I'm telling you to keep it in so that we don't break continuity. We're standing now. Oh, yeah, we're standing now. Feet. <laughs> Do you want me to show you my feet? We're gonna go back to the feet thing. Yeah. <laughs> we can just stand Everyone. like this now. <laughs> I should do the whole video. Just talk. Yeah, is it this? So yeah, you can go back to the feet thing if you if if we should go back to the feet thing. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah, we can totally go back to the feet thing. It's like I haven't I could watch that again. Huh? Nothing. Give me some more of that. That's actually true for the feet thing. You can't talk about feet and you can't ask people if they hate feet, you can't ask people to show them you're not allowed to do that. Put it up there. Yeah, come on. How do you feel about feet? So here's the thing. I 
<laughs> Growing up, I thought feet feet were like the punchline of like my jokes. Like not physically, just like like ethically. You know, I would like just like feet are funny. <laughs> so you'd be like, "Hey guys, check this out," and then you just take out your foot. And everyone would be like, "Yeah." No, <laughs> no, no. My foot was not the punchline. Like just like verbal foot jokes. You know, like oh foot, like oh like like Teresa foot. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna talk about it. Yes, I am. I, so here's the thing. In seventh, like, I didn't re Me and my friend, like, when we go on Omegle, like, we didn't realize that, like, feet aren't funny to everyone. <laughs> so they would talk about feet. We were like, oh my god, they think feet are funny too. They'd be like, oh, like, put your foot in the camera. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I have tonight. It's so bad. <laughs> I can't believe that happened to you. And you went along with it? Well, it's for like the first one, and then, like, we then realized, yeah, and then it got creepy. Oh, no. Yeah, it was really bad. Wow. Stop right there. Let's take a quick break to talk about the sponsor for today's video, Cuts Clothing. Guys, I always have issues finding simple clothes that can assist my outfits without being too loud or uncomfortable to wear. So when Cuts reached out to sponsor this video, I was interested to see if their clothing could help expand my wardrobe. And over the past couple weeks of wearing Cuts, I can confidently say that I'm a believer. From their hoodies to their crewnecks to their t-shirts, I can always confidently say that Cuts is going to give me a consistent product that I can trust. They don't just make their shirts in the same way that every fast fashion brand does so you know you're going to get a product that'll last more than just like a few washes. I really enjoy shirts specifically like this from Cuts because I can wear it with a lot of different things. Button downs, hoodies, by itself, and it's nice and comfortable for fall coming up. Look how comfortable I look. Even better, Cuts clothing is wrinkle free so even if I'm late to some awesome dinner party I was invited to, I can just run into the closet and grab something and I know I'm going to show up and look good. I also have to include that I love Cuts rival t-shirts. They're super plain and simple, they're nice and soft and I can put them literally under any outfit as a nice undershirt. I'm really excited to check out more of Cuts Clothing in the future because they have a lot of new outerwear that works really well for the fall coming up. My favorite part is that Cuts doesn't slap some huge logo on their clothing, so you're like embarrassed to wear it out. Look, they just put like a little X. It's just like a cute little X. So if you want to be just like me and expand your wardrobe with Cuts Clothing, go to cuts.team slash not green and use promo code not green for 15% off your order. Thank you to Cuts Clothing for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the fun. Um, I just think they're really gross. Can you show her your feet? Do you want me to show you my feet? <laughs> yes, please. What? She didn't even say yes. Yeah, she had no say in this. He wasn't talking to the fucking button. And they maybe like, the, it could have been an awkward edit or something, but don't you think that if they asked her, they'd make it a point that she said yes before they just whip out his foot? And he's like so ready too. Like he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Says I can show on my face. He throws his foot up there and it's and fully all. <laughs> his socks are off already. He was ready for this. Like he's a plant, I think. This literally just came out a couple weeks ago. How would they not even have? Like how dumb are they? Do they not go through enough things where they're like, let's just make sure we get the part? You know why they didn't put it in? Because it was probably super uncomfortable. Yeah. She said she hates feet in the interview. They they interview them before, and then that's why the button is like, blah 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 likes. Yeah. Uh, goddamn. What with K-pop? Yeah. Um, I'm thinking I I might as well K-stop. <laughs> cringe for the foot for me at least. If we cringe for the foot like three times. Oh, like but there's another. But this is like real live action foot. This was the real foot. This was like analog foot. This Hold oh man, what's wrong? My toe hurts so bad. Come on. Who, oh, it hurts. Uh, who cares even? Like, what do you like? Should we should we tie it to the it doorknob? Hurts so bad. Should, should we? Should Wait, we, what? What did you just say? Should we tie it to the doorknob and yank it off for the toe fairy, please? Why? Why would we? Ever down on the string cheese. You're done on your string knees. Wow we. Wow we. Dude, I don't, he is going to be like, what am I supposed to do with this? He's going to be sitting there at, at his laptop like, what the hell am I supposed to He's going to just go. Oh, it's hot. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, the floor is hot. Let's do it. Show her your feet. Do you want me to show you my feet? Yes, please. Oh, nice. Put them away. Put the dogs away. <laughs> Why are they out for so? Like, dude, he probably does this to every girl. Oh. He took the waiter and he's like, "Hey, hey, hey, I'm on a date with this hot girl. If I give you five bucks, will you say bring up something about me showing my feet?" 
<laughs> the waiter walks up to the table. Oh, <laughs> you, you have to. So here's your check, please. But you really have to show your feet or else we can't let you out, please. We have a rule here. We have a rule here. Come on, bust the come dogs on. out. Come on, bust. Come on, bust them out. <laughs> Wait, I cringed at that, though. But uh, I'm going to do a baby puff. Yeah. Cringe. Um, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't blame you. I'm not a big fan of feet, especially, uh... For sure. What? He, what is going on? Dude, someone hit the button already. Like, I've had I've been enough of this. How do they stay after all the feet situation? He doesn't like them either, even. He was just like, I don't even like these. So maybe they were forced to whip the, the dogs out. Yeah, I wonder if they, I wonder if the producers actually were like, listen, whip the I dogs know neither out. of you like the feet, but like... If you guys want this to work out, you need to want this. You need to get out of your comfort zone with each other. You really, really need to say. Take like, out the feet. We're gonna click on it. Zuka? Yeah. I'm a big climber, so my climbing shoes get kind of um, rough. Yeah, it's a normal Sunday for you. What's a normal Sunday? What's a normal Sunday? Come on, guys. Talk to each other like you. Give a shit. Why Sunday? Uh, maybe you should ask about Monday. <laughs> <laughs> What's a normal Sunday for you? I get up, climb. We get it. We're going to be so mean. <laughs> Guys, listen. We've been doing this bit. It's like a comedic bit lately where we we like to... Um, <laughs> We like to be like extra mean for no reason. <laughs> so like if you find us being mean about things for no reason, like this guy just talking about him climbing a couple times, it, we're gonna try to be obvious that that's satire. <laughs> and then we don't actually think it's annoying. Like, dude, we get it. You climb. Lately we've been doing a lot of barbecues. No. Why did you reject him? Oh, um, I'm just not really. Oh, he asked her. He said, he confronted her. He said, why did you reject me? Why did you reject me? Oh, why did you reject me? Don't be, he said it in a respectful tone. I think the way that he really just was like, why did you reject me? Just face it, you know, nice and respectful, straightforward. He's like, you tell me. Because me, I would have got, I would have gone, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just not really like <laughs> an outdoorsy person. But you, um, you're really no awesome. worries. Yeah, no, yeah, you. you're so nice. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just not an outdoorsy person. Okay, well, guess what? You go inside? You don't think he's an indoorsy person too? You think that's all he does? You think that's the only thing to him? I have a newsflash for, for you. I have a newsflash for society. You didn't do anything wrong. You said we're supposed to be mean. I said if we are, but then you ramped it up to 100. <laughs> Let's just continue the video. Okay, sorry, sorry. Here, can I apologize really quickly? Sorry. Um, listen guys, um, so I, I made a really poor and unjust decision by, by saying something a little mean. I said I was like just mean, you know, she can she can love whoever she wants. And I really just I was wrong, so sorry. Sorry guys, I really won't do it again. I really won't do that again. And now I baby So are these the guys that go in? These are the boys that go these in. These are the boys that go so in. So you all hang out, it's yeah. a little bit of a boy party. And then you're all like, yo, how'd it go in there, brother? <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, brother, it went pretty well. But I don't see the other guy. Like, he's so, like, he's like, Ooh. these must be just, like, other people. No, like, just why for are you fun. Like, imagine they got paid out. Why are you kind of trying to question the reality <laughs> of the video? It's not that hard. <laughs> because they could do anything that they want. What are you saying? And it would be movie magic. This is just how the show works. It's but the like, rules. What if it's not real? It's what I'm saying. It is real. There's no point in it not being real. It's not interesting enough for it to not be real. If they wrote this, what if they did I a would... fake one and sprinkle it in with the real ones just to see how it does? That it's not working because it's not even that interesting in the first place. You know what? All this hullabaloo you've been spraying out, all this bull crap, what can I say? makes me want to smoke. Put some cringe up. There. Yeah, put some cringe up there because I'm just a piece. Of it. Make sure you blur this out. No free glow. Imagine a bird. What? You're too outdoorsy. 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 You're too outdoorsy.
Get him! Oh my god, I think I'm gonna attack her? What? <laughs> get him! Get him! Seize her! <laughs> Just so you guys know, the prize for this is that you get an all expense paid second date. Which means that you have to hang out with the person again and you get like a hundred dollars to split between the two of you. And they don't pay you otherwise. So that's that's it. What a bunch of donkey. Yeah, what a donkey. What a load of donk. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, How are you? Good. What makes you horny? Come on! Dude, you <laughs> But there were so many what? wrong things that happened. <laughs> he lunged for the button, and the button said, what makes you horny? I hate this game. It's like so poorly done. Don't have the guys talk to each other. The guys who already went go in a different room. Because then you get a new experience and an awkward thing every time, rather than this like pretense of, oh, she's buzzing people out. And this guy's coming to play the game. But she's going to go back there and be like, dude, he lunged for the button right away. How are you doing? How are you doing? Dumb little hat. Dude, take it off. Take the hat off. I don't care about it. What it's is, dumb. What is your dumb oh, little hat? Look at the hat. Oh, my hat matches my vest. I'm so cool. Dude, no one's watching. Okay, no one's really paying attention. Oh, the text on my hat matches the sleeves on my shirt. No one notices that. You're saying it right now. <laughs> no one's going to notice. You're noticing. You're, you think you're so cool because you can match things, okay? It's a fun, it's a pretty good outfit. Oh, I'm gonna hit the button. He also has cool tattoos, too. Yeah, no, he's actually, he's probably a really nice guy. He probably has a lot of layers, you know? Oh, so now that I'm being nice to him, now you're gonna suddenly wag in the bag. I don't want to get in trouble again for being too mean. We're gonna talk about this later. Cringe, Whatever. double, double cringe. Double points. You should do something funny for Ryan to like have a little fun edit. I should do something funny. You don't think I've done anything funny yet? I don't think we danced enough yet, actually. You guys, watch, watch this. What? Oh, oh, oh! Wait, what's going on? Wait. Be careful when they're stomping. There's a family that is sleeping below us currently. Why? Uh, they they live with me. Why? They asked me. Why? I'm good. Yeah, How are you? Good. What makes you horny? What makes you horny? What? It's always what makes you horny. I never. What? What makes. How are you? Makes you horny? I don't know. This is weird. I'm an ass man. Mm -hmm. Is that. Is that weird to say? Oh. Aggressive as hell, dude. He slammed this it. This is a family feud. This is a, yeah, this is a, <laughs> Like, you can take your time. WrestleMania 72. This is WrestleMania. This is definitely not WrestleMania. They would not do well at that. Dude, people that are that physically aggressive scare me. Like, the the way he lunged for that button and slammed it. I know. Like, like buddy, relax. I know. Enough. Take a load off, please. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna sound hell hella whack, but none of the guys have got to press the button yet. Oh, okay. He says that like he just broke like horrible news there. He's like, this is going to sound hella whack to say, brother, but none of the guys got to press the button yet. Okay, Brian. Not game it, please don't call them females. I do not Gmail, I do not iMessage, I do not use email. I am not friendly, I am not nice, I do not walk in retail. I'm stuck, yo, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Black beat down. I don't wear a cast, but I broke my ankle. Your mom has big cankles, you look like Kevin Markle. I'm scared of the darker. Do you have a charger for your phone? 